how to make a tight square braid with a loom. What you'll need is your loom tool, scissors, and some yarn. I like using a jersey yarn because it has a lot of stretch and it's great for cording. Let's get started. Okay, so setting up for any cord using the tool usually takes a little bit of time, but once you get it right, you'll never forget and it's super repetitive. So it's easy to remember. All right, so what you'll do is you'll leave a tail. In this case, I'm leaving probably about an eight inch tail holding it to the back of my tool. And what you're gonna do is you're going to go from back to front to back to front. Let's do it again real quickly. Okay, so you're gonna go from back, then across to front, around the back to the front. So it should look like this, okay? Then you're gonna lift the bottom piece over, then you're gonna pull your tension. Now, now the first couple knots are gonna be really, really hard, so you have to just hold everything in place. Now you're gonna repeat the same thing as I turn it over. It's just gonna go naturally across in the front, taking the bottom over. Okay, flip it over. Again, just always pulling, making their tension tight. Again, pulling across, bottom goes over the top, flip, and pull. Sometimes I pull the tail too, just really helps with the tension. Again, pull over, flip, and pull. As you can see it's knotting up now. It usually takes about five to six turn, and if the yarn is thinner, it'll actually take a little longer. So now it's just repetitive. Probably around the 10th pull, it'll be really tight like this. You'll actually start seeing an actual cord forming. Pull over. Two, pull. So after a while, you actually don't have to pull your Cord anymore, your tail. So, tension really matters here, especially if your yarn is thin. You'll begin to really see it. So, see how I usually have to work it a little bit. See how that cord has formed now? Okay. So now let me show you how to finish this real quickly. Oh, one more tip. So let's say you have to travel or you need to leave your project. All you do is just wrap it around, store anywhere, and then once you come back, you just get started again. You always know how to um, do your last cord is that just moving this straight across like this to the back, okay? So now let's finish this piece. I'm gonna pop it out off the loom tool. I'm gonna cut the tail to whatever length you like. In this case, I'm just gonna leave a tiny, tiny tail. And again, taking the end, putting it through this side. So you're gonna have to close it by pulling the left ear basically like this then inserting this to this side and pulling and they'll tie it together so now you have a little bit of a cord in this case we put a bead on this so it's a little bit of a, a bracelet like this really cute and if your yarn is really thin sometimes so we have this t-shirt yarn we love it and it was thin and I wanted to do something a little bit thicker, I just double things up. I just start cording together like this as if it's one piece of yarn. And it actually comes out in a nice, nice blend of color here. Okay, this is how you make your tight square braid with the loop tool.